The morning that changed my life. It was April 1st, 1979, Monday around 10.30. I was at the BWI Induction Center for the Armed Forces. I'm sitting in a chair and I'm waiting for my name to be called so I could be officially drafted, sworn in to the United States Army. In these brief moments, I'm looking around. Here I am, 19, long hair, leather coat, just like, hey, what's going on? And I'm seeing people, decorated veterans, people in the military from the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines. I mean, this environment's got energy. And I'm starting to think, they're going to cut my hair. I'm going to be in boot camp, and they're going to be all in my face. So I just like pause, and I bow my head, and I say a simple prayer. God, help me. I'm going into the Army. This is a big move. Everything up to this point in my life has been a failure. That's what I prayed. And I opened my eyes and, whoa, there's a hand. A hand with a small Bible in it. And I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. I just prayed and there's a Bible like in my face. I didn't look around. I didn't even see who gave it to me. I just saw a hand in the Bible and I took it. I mean, this truly was the fastest answer to prayer I've ever received. Here, I'm hopeless. I'm 19 years old. I'm going nowhere really fast. I call on the Lord and he responds immediately. Up until that moment, I was one of those, you know, Christmas Easter Christians. You know, it's when I attended, raised in a broken home. My role models, they were drug dealers, gamblers, thieves, alcoholics. I was running from a life that I no longer wanted to live. I was like locked in a room and there wasn't a door. In the army, it seemed to be my hope of escape. Little did I know that a prayer, like a 911 call to heaven, would be the answer. Then, you know, with total amazement here, I've got this pocket sized Bible. So I open it, and for some reason, I go to the back. I mean, I don't start at the beginning. I go to the back, the very last page of the book. And here are these words, God loves me. And all of a sudden, the rescue and grace of God started to work in my heart and revealing his love. And and then after that, it says all of sin, all are sinners. And I didn't know, I didn't get it, because I'm in trouble, I'm hurting, I'm in pain, I feel ruined, a wreck, abandoned, just a mess, sitting there in that chair, having no clue that sin was my problem, because I was just like blaming me, like, I screwed up again, I keep screwing up, others keep messing with me, they oughta, they shoulda, they coulda, you know, blaming other people, but right there, you know, God saying sin, it just never dawned on me. The thought never really crossed my mind that sin was my problem. And here it says that there's a remedy for sin. Hope began to rise. And I'm thinking, wow, what is this all about? And it started to talk about Christ, how I could receive him. Well, Jesus, I'm thinking, wait a minute, Jesus, sin, what's going on? And then in my mind, like a dream, a vision, these flashing images like a slideshow kept going on like every image that I had ever seen of Jesus Christ these pictures were flashing in my mind of 
I mean, hey, being raised Catholic and being in cathedrals, we had images there. Stations of the cross, the crucifix, and, and even in our home, you know, we had, you know, different images. One I always remember was there. We had a lot of deaths in our family, and one of the funeral directors gave us a picture of Christ, and, and it would light up. You could hit a switch, and it would light up, and we used to light it up at night. I saw that and, you know, Da Vinci's Last Supper and all these were flashing through my mind. But what was going on in my heart was, wow, I just never knew that Jesus, that's who he was. He died for me, for my sins. And there was a place that I could receive him as my personal savior. It's like this book, this New Testament, was guiding me through my issue, through my problem, helping me understand that I had a need uh, for a Savior, that I was lost in my sin. Uh, I got it. I'm thinking, whoa, hello, the lights, news flash. I need a Savior, and it's Christ. I said, yes. I said, Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe the third day you rose from the grave. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and be my Savior. And you know what? My life changed that morning. I just am so grateful that somebody took time. I found out that this man that uh, gave me the Bible went there every Monday morning faithfully. And from what I understand, he was handicapped. He was limited. I don't know what his limitations were. The only thing I knew that he had a hand and he used that hand to distribute God's word. And I am grateful, eternally grateful. And now I'm understanding that it's not just this man, this Gideon, it's like an army. They've already distributed over 2 billion copies of God's word to the world. I'm thinking, wow, I don't know who all they are. I don't know where the two billion scriptures are, but I know one came to me when I needed it. And I don't know if I'd be alive today without that scripture, but I am alive today. And I've been pastoring over 30 years, have gone to other countries myself on the mission field. I mean, I am eternally grateful that somebody placed a copy of God's Word in my hand that Monday morning.